Hey guys, it's me, Christy Lee. Welcome back to the channel. I know I look like crap. Thank you. I have been sick since Wednesday. It just came on out of nowhere. I was at work feeling fine, feeling great. The day was going good. Was asked to take a delivery out. It took me about an hour to do. Made the delivery on my way back. Started feeling a little rough. Itchy throat. Sneezing. Just not feeling very good. By the time I made it back to the shop, I was full blown sick. Thursday was Thanksgiving. I was absolutely miserable. Went to the gathering anyway and spent the entire time on the couch. After I tried to eat some of that Thanksgiving meal, I started evacuating my stomach contents on the way home. Tried to go into work on Thursday. Look like death. Got sent home. Yesterday was pretty rough. Today, I think I'm feeling slightly better, but I just feel really weird. What is that? Oh, I feel really weird. I feel over-medicated, even though I'm not. I've barely been taking any medication for this. I prefer to try to just let things run its course. Really wobbly on my feet. Just very strange. I feel very strange, but I think I'm getting back to myself. It's Sunday today. I'm hoping and praying that I can go back to work tomorrow. But yes, I look rough. Now... I have just discovered something and I wanted to share it with you guys. I've seen the ads a couple times here and there. I'm not even sure, sure where I've seen them. But it is for human and AI generated artwork. And I have fallen in love this morning. Um, actually, I started this yesterday. I watched a video by this girl. I can't remember her name. I want to say it's something Ted. Which is weird but yeah anyway I watch her channel a lot of times for things on how like she does videos on how to make money basically how to work for yourself and work from home and um, create things sell them make money blah 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 um, I'll have to find her channel and link it down below for you guys but when I showed you guys those notebooks that I had created which some more are on the way. They should be here, I think, by next Friday. And I'll show you when they get here. Wholesale Ted. Wholesale Ted. That's the name of her channel. Sorry for the bad lighting and all that. I didn't really try too hard to set this up. That's where I got the idea for creating those journals and selling them on Amazon KDP. I watched a video of hers yesterday while I was laid up in bed talking about how to earn money by selling um, AI generated art and um, so I decided to give it a try and the, the, the program that she was using was called Wall E2 so I started off with their free you get 50 free creations or prompts or something like that in your first month and then you have to wait a month for another 15 unless you pay for their like pro account or whatever um, so I started playing around on that one, used my 50 very quickly, and I got some really awesome, I think personally, really awesome creations out of that. And then I liked it so much that I went searching first thing this morning for another app that I could use while I'm waiting for my <laughs> free prompts to, um, to renew on Wally. -E. So I started using the Starry AI and you only get a few prompts on there but you can earn more prompts and I fell even more in love with this idea of human and AI created artworks. I have made some really awesome pieces of art. Sorry that I'm looking like I'm starting to cry. I don't know why or where that's coming from. I'm not crying I promise. <laughs> But um, I did, I wanted to share with you guys some of the creations that I've been making. And um, I don't really know how to, like I want to throw them up on the screen here and talk to you about them. But I don't have what I need to do that. Like I think you need like a laptop. Well, I have a laptop. Is it a laptop? It's not a laptop. It's a notebook. There's a difference, like a laptop can do more than like a Chromebook or whatever. I think I have a, I don't think it's called a Chromebook, but it's one of those cheapy little laptopy things. It's basically like a phone that you can open up and have a keyboard and all that. But anyway, 
I really, really just wanted to come on here and share some of these creations with you guys, but I don't have any way of organizing that. So I'm just going to talk right now. And as I'm talking, I'll put them up on the screen. They'll just pop up and I'll tell you kind of what I was going for, I guess. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy this. I, like I said, I'm in love with this. I want to buy all the pro accounts so I can just sit around creating these crazy pieces of art. I feel like I found my new calling. <laughs> I've discovered that I have some pretty messed up stuff in my head, I guess. I don't know what you call Okay, so anyway, I started off, like, I have a thing for Alice in Wonderland. I always have. I loved that movie as a kid. I have puzzles that I've put together as an adult that are Alice in Wonderland themed. Like, I just love, even if it's not, like, the your standard Alice in Wonderland type, you know, like, movie scenes and stuff like that. I like the concept of Alice in Wonderland and so I decided to try to play around with that and like I so okay so on these apps it gives you a little thing you put in a prompt you put in a sentence say basically it's asking you what you want to see what are you wanting the AI to create with you so let's just say I want to see a elephant riding on a tiny bicycle with a butterfly tattoo on his back you know like whatever and and it'll create that for you you can also put in like like more detailed things like if you want it in black and white on a white background if you want it in portrait style if you want it like Vincent van Gogh or Georgia O'Keeffe or like you can describe to the very very finest detail of how you want this to come out I guess so I was I'm still learning I literally have only created a couple of things but so at first I just want to do something Alice in Wonderland and I've always kind of liked the steampunk um, kind of stuff so I I can't remember exactly what I put in so this is gonna be this video is gonna be all over the place I'm trying my hardest to remember I just want to share this with you guys um, Alice in Wonderland steampunk style and it came up with a couple things and you get to like kind of choose and then you can even like evolve that painting and add more detail into it goth style I really liked the golf golf style when I added that extra element into it. I threw in some like medieval stuff. Uh, what else did I put in there? I'm trying to think. I don't know. I can't remember. But all of these first ones were created on the Wall E2 platform, and I got a couple different variations that I really liked from that. And then when I went on the Starry AI, of course, I started with the um, Alice in Wonderland stuff again, and but I added more like details and definitions and um like different artist stylings and renderings and like surrealism and stuff like that and it came up with some amazing it also came up with some really weird and funky looking stuff and I'll throw some of those in here too to show you but it's like when you get when you kind of like I don't know communicate correctly with it and you kind of get it right it comes up with some amazing stuff so on top of the Alice in Wonderland um, I try to do a little bit with the, like the Little Mermaid I don't know what it is about like taking like Disney princesses even though Alice wasn't a Disney pr princess she should have been I feel like um, <clears throat> and turning them into some creepy or unusual stuff like I post apocalyptic um <laughs> it's just like really weird and crazy stuff and what else did I try to do oh before I even did the Alice in Wonderland stuff I started off with basic like I just wanted to see like what did I put like a cup of coffee with a ultra realistic beating heart in it or something I don't know, it's dark, it's weird. And it gave me a couple different things and I thought this one looked pretty cool. And then I was trying to think of some cute things that, you know, like maybe I could put on t-shirts or coffee mugs or whatever and sell like dog, long haired dog licking ice cream cone. And like one of them came out okay. Some of them came out really weird. Like the ice cream cone became part of his face. Like I'll show you all the weird ones it came up with too. But Anyway, some of the stuff I got out of playing around with these apps or platforms or whatever. Sorry, AI is an app. I think Wally is a 
platform. I'm not sure. Like I said, brand new. I literally just started doing this stuff. Um, but some of the stuff is amazing. And if you look through like the gallery, you can explore the gallery of other people using this stuff. And the art that's coming out of this is just insane. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's like emotional. It's, it's it, very like thought provoking. And I think it is awesome. A lot of artists out there are getting really upset <laughs> because it takes a lot. I know it takes a lot for artists to think of things and create these images. And now we've got robots that all you have to do is type in a sentence and say, yeah, throw this style in there, throw that style in there, make it kind of like this. And it creates this stuff in seconds. And so I understand why these artists are getting upset. It's kind of like when photographers used to have to work really hard and learn how to use these, you know, cameras and develop their film and to get the portraits just right and all this stuff. And it took a lot of time and energy and money um, to learn to be a really good photographer. And then smartphones came along and anybody can be a photographer now. So I totally understand where the artists are coming from. But for someone like me who has always like yearned to be a good artist and tried for many, many years to, to do it, to learn the techniques and to become somebody, it's just a lot of fun for me to just be able to, I don't know, think of something off the top of my head and, and play around with these different prompts and styles and all this and get some really amazing, amazing art. So, um, anyway, I know that like people, there's a website now where people are selling their AI art and each, um, piece of art only gets sold one time. So it's an absolute original. There's no copies. There's no nothing. It is a one once in a lifetime piece of art and they're selling them for like $600 a pop. If I could get on that, man, I would be, I'd be doing good. But, um, the downside of using these things that I'm using is that the resolution is quite small. So you would not be able to take what you're creating there and blow it up on a big, you know, 30 by 40 canvas and sell it like that because the resolution would be terrible. So at least with the free versions, um, I think you have to pay for the pro and maybe use some other apps or things outside of, you know, of what you're using to create them to make the resolution good enough that you could blow them up, put them on things and sell them as printed pieces. And I, I don't think I'm smart enough to figure all that stuff out. So I'm really just having fun with it. I mean, I would love to figure it out. I would love to be able to sell some of these. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Some of them, some of them are really weird and funky and I think it's cool. Anyway, I'm not going to drag this video on much longer. I'm going to get my butt back in bed. I just really wanted to share some of these with you guys. I hope that you find it as entertaining as I did. And I hope I see you again soon in another video when I'm not looking and feeling like death. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.